Hello and welcome to my channel Aquarius. This is your July 2017 romance reading. This is for my singles. So let's go ahead and get started. As always guys, if you are interested in a private reading, please access my website info down in the description box. And thank you as always for the likes, comments, and shares. I really, really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started Aquarius. What's happening for July of 2017 for my singles? Angels, please bring forth your messages from my Aquarius singles at this time. Addressing July of 2017 energies from my Aquarius singles. Please bring forth your messages. That would be beneficial at this time. All right, Aquarius, what's happening? Let's see what we've got. Messages from my Aquarius singles. For July 2017 starts off with attraction okay Aquarius singles we've got deception here let's see what's going on there Aquarius singles what's happening we've got finances and career okay let's pull some more Aquarius singles angels please bring forth your messages for Aquarius singles what have we got going on we have a separation here. We have love yourself first. Okay, let's pull some more Aquarius. What's happening? I'm gonna pull these guys. We've got let your friends help you. Okay. We have retreat here. We do have honeymoon. And we've got let go of control issues. And the bottom of the deck card for my Aquarius singles is stay optimistic about your love life. All right, guys, let's see what we've got happening for July 2017. What's happening? Give me one second to assess this. Okay, so I'm being directed to read your cards, Aquarius, horizontally. Normally I read them this way. So I'm feeling for some of my singles, you're with someone that you are really attracted to or there is someone that you're attracted to that you're interested in dating or getting to know better. But they're not being truthful with you. They are wearing a false mask in this connection that you have because the deception card is here and I'm feeling that a new connection that you've made Aquarius despite of the attraction and I do feel that they are attracted to you they're not really being forthright in the connection so I'm feeling that maybe they they might really be full of BS and what they're telling you they're not really being their real self with you um, I do feel that this person is really into their finances and career and that's what's driving them really. They're more into money than romance, but that is not the picture that they are portraying with you. So I'm kind of feeling like they're really pretending to be totally into you when in fact they're not. Um, yeah, I'm feeling such a weird energy from this deception card with, with singles that are just newly dating someone or wanting to get to know someone. So I'm feeling that you guys are talking and that there is that attraction there, but they're definitely snowing you somehow. They're not being truthful. So just be careful with that energy, guys, for, for those Aquarius singles that are just getting to know someone that you're attracted to, okay? Um, I'm also feeling heading into the present position that some of my Aquarius singles, you're separated currently, okay? Um, or that you had separated from a relationship in the past as a result of it really not working out. And so you are just enjoying kind of being your, with yourself right now. You're loving yourself. You're putting yourself first, finally. Putting yourself first on your priority list. You're doing you right now. Just enjoying alone time um, and I am feeling that you are relying on your friends Aquarius those of you who are really unattached right now um, you're just enjoying your your friendships your non-romantic friendships 
in your life. They're there to offer you laughter, um, a lightheartedness about life and not really taking to taking things too seriously, especially um, in regard to your love life. You're just enjoying yourself um, being unattached, I'm feeling, for some of you guys. However, you know, your bottom of the deck card, Aquarius, for some of you guys, it is saying that you should stay optimistic about your love life because positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I am feeling that although you're enjoying loving yourself, and as you should, um, but I do feel that it's going to be temporary that you're going to be single, okay? And as a result of the friends that you're hanging out with and you guys are certainly getting out there and, and enjoying life, going out and uh, meeting new people, I do feel that eventually you will meet someone else that you connect with on a really good level, Aquarius. So hang in there. That relationship is going to be coming in for some of you, I, I do feel. But currently, I'm also picking up that you're just enjoying the single life right now and uh, being unattached, and you're okay with that. So moving forward into the future for some of my Aquarius singles, I do see you guys getting married, okay? The retreat card is here, and as you can see, it is a married couple, followed by a honeymoon. So... I'm feeling that for some of my singles, you're wanting or anticipating an engagement to be happening soon, um, or you've certainly been thinking about it because you do see yourself getting married in the future with uh, someone that you're with or interested in, or you've been daydreaming about possibly getting married, but nothing has come to fruition just yet. Um, so just know that it will be coming, okay? I do see a marriage in your future, Aquarius. But it's also affirming for you to let go of control issues in your romantic life because you need to allow things to unfold naturally, all right? So don't try to manipulate your love life in any way. It's just one of those things where it'll kind of fall in your lap and uh, it's meant to be, okay? So definitely stay optimistic about your love life, Aquarius. Think positive that romance and love will find you and absolutely I'm picking up the energies that it will. Okay, so just have a little bit of patience in regard to uh, romance for some of you guys that are getting a little bit antsy about whether or not you're going to find that one person that you can spend the rest of your life with. I, I am picking up marriage in the future for quite a good number of my Aquarius singles. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and choose some tarot cards, Aquarius. Let's see what additional messages Spirit has for you for the month of July. Spirit, please bring forth your messages for my Aquarius singles for July of 2017. What messages would you like to share for my Aquarius singles heading into July? All right, Aquarius, let's see what we've got happening here. All right. Spirit, please bring forth your messages for my Aquarius singles at this time. All right, we've got quite a few here. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the Triumph card, okay? Followed by Rejoice and Celebration. Very nice. Followed by Material and Spiritual Prosperity Aquarius. Awesome. And finally, Prosperity Begins. Fantastic. So I'm feeling career energies here as well as romance. And the bottom of the deck for Aquarius singles, passion ignited. How beautiful. Okay. Passion ignited. So the, the triumph card, guys, in a traditional tarot is representative of the chariot and cancer energy. So perhaps... Some of my Aquarius singles out there, um, you're interested in a Cancer, I'm feeling. That's a possibility. Um, and also, when the Triumph slash Chariot card comes through in a reading, it's representative of a triumphant outcome, guys. And because this is a romance reading, so it's affirming that you're going to be coming into a triumphant outcome in regard to your love life. You're going to be moving forward, steadily forward. So you need to focus on your end goal, which ultimately is finding true love. So don't face your challenges alone. Um, tap into your powerful knowledge of others and inner resources within you, absolutely. 
And remember, let your friends help you in regard to your romantic life. They're there for you. Now the card after that, rejoice and celebration, guys. So I really, it's picking up off of the marriage and honeymoon card in the future. I do see you guys rejoicing in a happy, fulfilling relationship heading into the future. And I do feel that as a result of positive thinking and having faith that you will find the one that's meant for you, you will reignite the passion in your life, and especially in regard to romance. Now, the next two cards, material and spiritual prosperity and prosperity begins, that's picking up, um, well, the finances and career earlier was in regard to the deceptive person that you guys have met for some of you guys. But it's also picking up success for those of you Aquarius who are really making a name for yourself in your career. You've been working really hard to uh, make a name for yourself at work and the rewards and recognition, I'm really feeling it's going to be coming in for you. And yeah, some, some of you will be recognized in the month of July for the hard work that you've been doing. And I'm also feeling a promotion, possibly a raise in pay for some of you guys. And that will bring in the prosperity that you're so uh, wanting in your life. Absolutely. So you're, you're so blessed, guys. You're so blessed heading into July for a good majority of you, I'm feeling. Okay, so the only warning that I've got heading into July for some of my singles is just be careful of that deceptive energy coming through from a new connection, I'm feeling. All right, guys, so just be aware of that. All right, so now I would like to pull an angel message for Aquarius to close out your reading for July of 2017. Angels, please bring forth your messages for my singles. Aquarius singles for July of 2017. What messages can you share with them at this time? Let me shuffle some more. And it's not always pertaining to romance, guys, but whatever messages come through, it is always quite beneficial with this deck. All right. Let's see what we've got for Aquarius singles. July 2017. Angel messages. Angels, please bring forth your messages for Aquarius. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have Angel Serafina. And we have Angels Grace and Antoinette. Okay. So Angel Serafina's card states, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Okay. So I'm picking that this card is coming through for the future marriages that are coming through here and that some of you will be starting families. You're certainly going to um, have children together with your spouse and you will have a happy change or addition coming to your family. You're going to be expanding your family. So that's wonderful. Now, Angels Grace and Antoinette, their card states to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Okay. So for those of you who have separated, I'm feeling that these are past relationships that perhaps some of you guys need to heal a part of your heart that's still really hurting from what had happened in regard to a breakup. And Angels Grace and Antoinette are helping you to heal the situation and asking you to have a little bit of compassion in regard to the other person and how they see the situation. Because ultimately you don't want to be a vessel for anger or regret um, moving forward in your life, especially the good energies that wanna come through for you in order for you to rejoice in the celebration in the future. Um, so yeah, let go of any negative energy from the past, let go of past hurts, and if it will help you to move on by seeing the situation from the other person's point of view and to see the situation with love rather than with anger, that will certainly help you to heal moving forward. So those are the energies coming through here. And your bottom of the deck, guys, actually, is um, Angel Celeste. Angel Celeste's message states, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energies. So for those of you guys who are contemplating a physical move or changing jobs, this is certainly affirming that 
you're doing the right thing and that you're heading into some positive new energy moving forward into the future. So it's picking up off of that, the prosperity cards that came through here for your career. So that's really nice. So really good messages coming through for my Aquarius singles guys for July of 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you were able to pull some messages that were uh, specifically for you and that it made sense for you. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, but I do hope that um, those that this resonated with, that it did offer you the guidance and hope and uh, the clarity that you guys have been looking for. Okay, again, if you're interested in a private reading, guys, please access my website down below. Thank you all again for the support and for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Aquarius.